Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am in Disneyland Paris in front of Walt Disney Studios Park because I'm about to head in and discover their L'Hiver Gourmand which is basically a very mini version of a food and wine festival that they were going on here for the winter season. It started a couple of days ago, I want to say the 13th of November and it goes on until the 20th of March. So it's on for a few months, basically throughout the winter months. And I love it. I love trying new food. I love trying food that I already love. So let's go and have a look. So, L'Hiver Gourmand actually takes place in the Ratatouille area of Walt Disney Studios Park here in Disneyland Paris. And as you can already see, they do have some little chalets, little stands. I think there's about five of them for this year, for 2021. And each stand does different things. I think there's actually a vegan one as well, which is very, very good. They've been doing that for the past couple of years. And yeah, I think it really adds to the atmosphere of this area as a whole. I mean, I love the Ratatouille area anyway. It's one of my favorite parts of Walt Disney Studios. But having these little stands around, for the Christmas season, especially with all the lights as well. And look at that, there's a bauble here as well. It's cute, it makes the whole place come to life even more. So I think what I'm gonna do is perhaps order one thing from every stand, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, there's five of them. And I'm very hungry, I haven't eaten anything today, and I really want something warm first, so I think I'm gonna go for like proper food first, and then depending on which stand there's like dessert type food, if there's any kind of desserts that I want, I'll have that last. So the first stand here is called Les Saveurs de Saison, and the menu has Dark Shepherd's Pie, which is intriguing to me, I'm not gonna lie. Vegan butternut soup, so even though this isn't the vegan stand, they do offer one vegan option. Brioche with smoked salmon and chives cream. Oh, that sounds nice as well, but that's not gonna be warm. I'm gonna have to come back to that for that later, I think. Maybe, I don't know. And then upside down caramelized apple tart. Interesting, and a Yule log. Also, there's a section of wines as well, and other drinks that you might wanna get, so that's also on offer. So I decided to just go for the salmon one because they heat it up, so this is warm, so why not? They also do have the shepherd's pie, which is this over here. They're tiny portions, by the way and these are some of the desserts. I might have to come back to the shepherd's pie later just because I'm curious, but I'm excited for this for now. Okay, so here's the salmon sandwich. This was, I think, six euros, I want to say. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's worth six euros. I mean, I don't know, but I'm so hungry right now. I'm just, I'm more excited about the taste. So let's have a bite. I mean, it's, it's really nice. It's a nice sandwich, you know, salmon, cream cheese, and some bread but it's quite basic i don't think i would pay six euros for this again however i am going to finish it because i'm enjoying it okay so the next stand is called Gou and saveur de montagne and it's got two options here a tartiflette and a tartiflette sandwich so yeah basically it's all about the tartiflette i actually tried a tartiflette i'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same one a couple of years ago and i really enjoyed it if i remember correctly i'm gonna link the video down below if you want to watch it this wasn't for Liver Gourmet, it was for another little food and wine festival they had here and it was really good so i think i'm just gonna go for the regular tartiflette this is what the tartiflette looks like very nice and hot which is good on a winter day like today and the sandwiches are like ham and cheese sandwiches with quite small no, breads as well so i personally i don't think they're worth it Merci beaucoup. Merci. Ah, let's go take this somewhere nice, somewhere quiet to eat. Okay, so oh, the Ratatouille music is playing here. Obviously, it would. I love it so much. This is why I love this area so much. Apart from it's just looking phenomenal and just feeling lovely, the music just adds so much to it. Anyway, I am so looking forward to this. So this is a tartiflette, a cheese tartiflette, and I love cheese. And I love anything with like melted cheese especially. There's gonna be some little bits of ham in there as well, I wanna say, and maybe some potatoes. So yeah, it looks very, very hot too. Um, so that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. That is really good. I am looking forward to finishing this whole thing. In regards to portions, by the way, this is how much it is. I feel like this is a good amount of tartiflette for six euros. I feel better about spending six euros on this than on the sandwich that I had before. Even though the sandwich tasted nice, it was just quite basic. Whereas this just feels a bit more substantial, I don't know. So tartiflette is finished. It was very, very nice. This has been my view, by the way, in case you've been wondering. I've loved it. I've enjoyed just people watching for the past five minutes or so. I finished this like 10 minutes ago, maybe. And I've just been standing here looking at everyone, being jolly and like, <laughs> My favourite restaurant over there, Bistro Cherami, you've got Gusto on the top. 
love it. I really, I want to go and eat there again. It's really hard to get reservations. Also, it is quite expensive. So I ate there in June last, and so maybe I'll give it another few months before I go there again. But I do love it. And this is the Ratatouille shop, which so many of you have actually asked me to do a little tour of it. And I will do, I promise. It's a beautiful shop and it's got some cute things in there. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed to see that video when I put it up. It probably should be in the next few weeks, hopefully. But I don't know, I've got so many videos I want to film and upload, which is why it's a good idea to subscribe and have the bell button on as well so that you're notified when I do upload something that you want to watch. Because otherwise, you never know when I might post them and what I might post. So we've already done two of the stands. The third one, which is the one behind me does pretzels I believe and let me just double check sauerkraut and I just I'm not in the mood for that right now I will come back and try perhaps a pretzel maybe a cheese pretzel they do look quite nice to be fair but I think we're gonna skip that one for now and go to the next one which is also one that I'm gonna skip just for now because the next one is mainly drinks so it's the douceur d'hiver it's um, hot chocolates and mulled wine. I don't like mulled wine, by the way. Let me know if you do. I like regular wine. love a good red wine, but mulled wine, for some reason, is not my thing. But I'm definitely going to come back here later on in the video to get a hot chocolate. This last one over here looks to be probably the most popular one here, actually, today anyway. And it's La Vie Goudin Gourmand. And it, it's got loads of crepes and stuff and pancakes. It, it sounds amazing. So I could see why loads of people want this. You can get like regular crepes, sugar and Nutella ones. But also these galettes, which are buckwheat pancakes with duck breast fillet. That sounds amazing. If I get that, I might just skip the shepherd spy duck that I wanted to potentially get later on. With ham and cheese, you can get it. Or with like a vegetarian one, goat cheese, honey. Oh my God, this looks so good. And you can see you know how popular it is i want to go and find the vegan stand though because i think that's something that i would like to have right now the vegan stand normally isn't actually in this area um if i remember correctly i'm gonna i might have to ask a cast member but it's um in the main kind of studio area you know like my tower of terror etc of Walt Disney Studios and there we are this is the vegan kitchen stand right by Tower of Terror as I remembered it I'm not sure why they do it but they've been doing this for the past few years ever since they introduced the vegan vegan stand it's been located here rather than in the main area I mean I suppose one good thing about it is that it's not as busy although it is in the middle of like a walkway area especially because they're doing obviously all the work for the <laughs> renovations and the expansions of Walt Disney Studios I'm very excited about but this area is closed, so it makes it a bit harder to get by, but it's not very busy. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what they have. So, vegan sandwich, which is vegetables, vegetables, fatty rocket, tomato, okay. Chestnut soup, sounds all right. Chocolate sponge cake. Is that it? I don't know. Oh, that banana bread looks good, actually. Cake a la banane, five euros. I'm not the biggest fan of fruit cakes, but banana bread is a very popular dessert, so that's definitely good. I feel like if you enjoy it you might like this not gonna lie the chocolate sponge cake actually sounds very delicious as well i really like vegan cakes for some reason i find it to be a bit more moist than like regular cakes that use milk and dairy in them so i would get that but i'm not ready um for like sweet stuff yet i still want to have that uh a pretzel and also that crepe with a duck potentially or with ham and cheese i've just spotted another little stand here as well i think this might be hello hi <laughs> um, yeah, it's a drinks one. Past members are so lovely there. I think this is just mainly, mainly drinks. Let me just have a look at the menu. Okay, so this is a winter twist, and they've got little snacks. Corner of fromage, cone of cheese, cone of cured copper, dry cute sausage. I mean, this sounds nice actually, and loads of drinks as well. Shall I get the cheese one? Oh, I love cheese. I'm gonna have to do it. I'm honestly not sure why I just spent five euros for this, but it looks cute and I love cheese. And those cast members were so energetic and friendly that I just, just happened. But <laughs> there you go, I've got loads of cheese. It's a cone of cheese. You can get a cone of like cured ham as well if you would like to. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all of this because it's a lot of cheese, but I'm excited to try it. Okay, I guess you just pick them up and take a bite. Yeah, it's good. Quite a um, strong tasting cheese, I would say. I feel like this would be a very good snack for kids. Just to, like walk around and enjoy them. I used to love having little cheeses. Cheese slices when I was younger. Funnily enough, La Vache Kiki was my favorite cheese as a child. Both me and my brother used to always eat it all the time. And it's funny because nowadays, Cezanne Paris is sponsored by La Vache Kiki. A lot of their snacks and stuff is made with that. And I don't mind because I love it. This is in La Vache Kiki, by the way. 
just in case you were wondering. Right, not gonna lie, I didn't finish the cheeses. They're in my bag now for a snack later on, probably tonight or tomorrow morning. I can, I can have it for breakfast. I actually enjoy cheese for breakfast, but I thought I'd quickly show you the vegan kitchen as well, some of the stuff they've got on offer in case you're coming soon and want to get some of these. So that's the chocolate cake. Looks really good to be fair. I think these might be the banana breads here. And then that's the sandwich, I want to say. They all look pretty good. Like this, the sandwich actually looks much better than I thought it would. So yeah, some good offerings here. I'm hoping to coming back to Disneyland Paris in January with my friend Izzy, who is vegan. So when I come back, I will you know, try some of the food and she will try them as well. I think it'll be more authentic for her to try them because she lives a life of a vegan. So she probably has more of an idea of what's good or bad in terms of vegan food. But yeah, watch out for that video coming up, hopefully in, in January at some point, because this festival, this little L'Hiver Gourmand situation goes on until the 20th of March, 2022, as I said. So I've come back to the Ratatouille area and those two stands are the ones that we already did I'm in front of Les Recettes de la Sigogne I want to say that's an area of France the recipes of Sigogne and this is a pretzel one um, and I wanted to show you very quickly what they have because it looks nicer than I thought so sauerkraut meat pie slices and pretzel and these are the offerings this looks really nice actually I feel like it might be too much because I've eaten quite a lot already that's probably the meat pie situation and those are the pretzels over there. Quite a lot of heavy food though. It's so funny, the mixture of smells of like mulled wine and, and chestnuts as well because the sound behind me does mulled wine, hot chocolate and chestnuts. I'm not the biggest fan of chestnuts. My brother and my mom and dad, they love them. It's like one of their favorite wintery snacks. We used to have them all the time. Well, not me. My family would have them all the time in Geneva in Switzerland during winter time. But it's not really my thing. So I think I'm just going to queue up and get a hot chocolate because I do actually fancy something warm like a drink and then I'll probably go and get a pancake or something later on I might have to walk around a bit first I mean look at this look at these beautiful chestnuts over here you get them in these cute little cones as well fresh nice and warm oh, I wish I liked them I don't like this like them it's just not something I love enough to want to have right now I like the smell of them though also I love the smell of mulled wine you know how earlier I said I don't actually enjoy mulled wine it's true I don't enjoy drinking it but I love the smell of it it's very very festive and look how cute these are adorable so I got my hot chocolate and I'm really looking forward to it it's a little bit bigger I would say than the regular ones that you would get during regular times my favorite hot chocolates well some of my favorite hot chocolates anyway I would have liked them to have maybe added something to it though maybe some marshmallows or just something because it's meant to be a bit more special than the regular hot chocolates I feel like this is probably gonna just taste the same as all the hot chocolates here in Disneyland Paris which I'm not complaining about because I love them they're so nice it's very hot by the way that's why I haven't drunk it yet but um yeah it would have been nice to maybe make them look a little bit more cute maybe just even like a little i don't know christmasy thing a biscuit something would have made it more decorative but it's okay i'm not going to complain too much the thing is it just tastes nice anyway so what can i say i just love the hot chocolate in this is paris okay so it's quite some time later i think it's been about 45 minutes since i last spoke to you the hot chocolate was nice i've just been chilling for the past hour i guess uh, in this area enjoying life it's actually starting to get dark now you probably can't really see it very well uh, on camera but it is about five minutes to five so yeah sunset's meant to be at around 10 past five so very soon this area is going to be i think even more magical because lights and everything Christmassy food atmosphere ratatouille remy it's just in the dark it's just in my opinion more festive but whilst we're here i wanted to quickly show you some of my favorite toilets which are the ones that i know that might be a bit of a weird concept for you but yeah the toilets just uh, next to ratatouille the ride here in disneyland paris are just so lovely because they play the music in them the color scheme is really nice i don't know i just like judging toilets and so many of you have said that you would like to see me do a top five toilets video or something in disneyland paris so that video will be coming up it probably won't be until 2022 now early 2022 but i am planning to make that video i'm so glad you know that i'm weird and you're okay with it and you're happy to see whatever weird video i make look how cute the christmas decorations are here by the way on place de remy's little fountain area i suppose there's little christmas trees quite subtle in those baubles and look at remy's face here so adorable but i think i'm gonna take a little bit of a break from eating 
and go on Ratatouille because I don't know if you can see or not the single rider is there again and it's at five minutes the regular queue is at half an hour 30 minutes which also isn't too bad but it's just me so I might as well make the most of single rider I'm so happy actually that single riders come back to Disneyland Paris I think it's only been a couple of weeks since he came back and the reason that he could come back was because the French laws changed here in France because obviously single rider the way it operates is that you're meant to be sat next to a stranger and until a few weeks ago you weren't allowed to do that families needed to be separated but now social distancing isn't really a thing anymore in Disneyland Paris that's why you know even the queues they're, they're, they're not enforcing them anymore you still have to wear a mask which I'm happy about but there's no physical distancing required in the country of France so that's why single rider was able to open again and I'm gonna make the most of it I just love that sign so much especially when it's getting dark as well I also love this sign I can't can't believe that it's here again I love single riders let's go in oh this is such a nice feeling I don't mean that in like a boastful way because it's just me it's nice to be able to walk past all these people knowing that I haven't had to pay anything extra it's not like Genie Plus in Disney World or Premier Access here it's just that I'm one person and within about 30 seconds or so we're here there's a couple of people in front of me waiting to find a group that they can put them with they're also single riders I'm gonna get my glasses and go well there it is got the glasses also the pexi glasses have gone as well from the vehicle which is so cool right let's go in a simple omelet too simple what may we that's it <laughs> Ratatouille is just such a great ride and I'm so happy that people in Florida can now experience it as well because it is open there. Also, that last scene, my friend Brandon pointed this out to me last time we went on the ride together but there's this little mouse on the left hand side and all he wants is a bit of a wave. You probably would have seen it but ever since he pointed out to me I'm just like, oh baby, I'll wave at you. Here's a beautiful view of Ratatouille land in Walt Disney Studios during the festive season. I just love it. It's a little less crowded now and even the stands don't have as long queues although this one this very popular one the pancake slash crepe one still has quite a queue i'm loving the fact that it's getting dark though so so nice i think i'm gonna wait another hour or so because i'm not very hungry and i really want to enjoy the crepe um, that I get with a pancake. I think I'm gonna go for the duck one. I might even get a chocolate pancake. I, I don't know, we'll see. But I will come back and have this for sure. But let's just have one last look at this beautiful area for now. And I will see you in maybe an hour. But for you, it's gonna be one second. Well, it's about an hour and a half later and it's gotten basically completely dark now but the atmosphere still feels magical if not more magical there's fewer people here as well which is nice it just means you can walk around easier so yeah this is where i came from obviously we've already done these two although obviously i only tried one item there are still other things i could try but i i just don't have the space um this i believe is a hot chocolate stand and the chestnut hello <laughs> <laughs> people, lo <laughs> people love saying hi. It's amazing how happy people get when they see a camera. Only in Disneyland Paris, to be honest. But yeah, um, that was actually the pretzel stand. The mold wine slash hot chocolate stand is just over here. I actually love walking past it every time because the smell of the mold, mold wine and the chestnuts, roast chestnuts, are incredible. But look at this success. This very, very popular stand that we saw earlier had a long queue, right? Now it's about 6.45. Not much of a queue at all. So I can finally go and get myself a pancake. The question is though, do I go for what I originally wanted, which, which was the duck breast filet cheese pancake? I feel like I've had a lot of cheese today. Or do I just go for the classic Nutella crepe? I don't know. I love the crepes here. They are phenomenal. And I kind of want something sweet right now, just because I feel like I have already eaten quite a lot of cheese but also I really do want to try this duck breast fillet thing it just sounds so intriguing and so nice at this point I literally don't know what I'm gonna order so we're gonna go there and see what comes out of my mouth by the time I get there well I went for the galette and it's about to be made here I'm so excited So I went for the duck galette 
those cast members over there were so so lovely by the way like big shout out to them um, they I was I was talking to them quite a bit actually about which uh, what items are more popular in their stand they said the Nutella crepes are definitely the most popular and with the galettes they said um, the duck one actually and uh, the cast member the, the one on the left was like in France generally the ham and cheese galette is maybe more popular but in Paris which is something to like I'm excited I'm interested to know I'm happy to know now um, apparently in Paris the duck galette is more popular but in other areas of France it's just regular kind of ham and cheese obviously like the croque monsieurs just some random info for you that I got from chatting to those lovely cast members in French of course here's a closer look at the galette it was so nice to see them kind of make it fresh over there for me as well got the duck there some rocket um, salads as well and obviously a lot of cheese and the pancake is also a different style than the crepes that you would get really really looking forward to this I actually need something warm I'm glad, I, I'm glad my mouth chose this rather than the crepe one not that I don't like Nutella crepes by the way the Nutella crepes here are actually phenomenal just generally in Disneyland Paris but it's something you can get any time of the year so I wanted something a bit more unique also because it's so much more quiet now I've got so many like opportunities and choices as to where I want to eat it's lovely so I'm just outside this tour Jeremy behind me um, unfortunately I'm not eating there today but it's okay this is it I am wow it's actually a little bit greasy but I'm looking forward to eating it let's I've never had this before and I love duck I love pancakes I love galettes I guess because I love cheese oh my god wow this is phenomenal this is really really good i've only taken one bite and i already want another one like i'm already thinking when can i come back here and get another one on the rest of my trip here yeah this is fantastic this is so so good obviously you do have to be a fan of duck as a meat generally otherwise you might not enjoy it because it is the taste of duck taste is there for sure but it is really really nicely done the actual galette is is great the cheese with the little salad it's just a really nice combination and seven euros you know seven euros for this i think it's worth it it really oh, it smells nice as well i'm gonna enjoy this because this is great i literally inhaled that that was so delicious like definitely by far the best thing i've eaten here today from the vehicle so if you're coming here in the next few months as i said this is on until march 2022 so you've got some time so it probably will be on if you're coming in the next three four months or so definitely try it it's so worth it definitely worth the seven euros i mean i wish it was a little bit bigger that's always the case with disney sizing you can, they can always make them a bit bigger for the price but that was lovely that was so good and i feel like the ham and cheese galette would be just as good as well if you don't like duck and they also do just like a vegetarian cheese one but they did say that the duck one is the most popular in terms of the galette so i understand now why there was such a long queue um because yeah they said in terms of crepes people tend to go for the nutella one in terms of galettes they go for the duck one and <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to have time to come and get another one at some point. I'm going to try and make the time because I need another one of these in my mouth before I leave because oh, it's so good. So as I was eating here, I bumped into these lovely Hello, hello hi. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, of course. My name is Yanis. My name is George. My name is Anai. I'm Apostolis. These are lovely viewers of mine from Greece. Yes, and yes. And for two of you, it's your first visit to Disneyland Paris, you said, right? Two of yeah. these two. Yeah, yeah. He went on Tower of Terror, apparently. <laughs> we just had, yeah, a, we just had yeah, a chat. Yeah. We've already chatted. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, well But she helped us a lot throughout our journey. Like, thank you. So, so watch tips. her videos and like. Yes, yes. <laughs> like <laughs> and subscribe. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for saying hi. And hopefully, I'll see you again next year, maybe. I don't know. You will, maybe. I'm trying yeah. to convince <laughs> them to come back in 2022 for the Marvel Land. <laughs> thank you, guys. Bye, bye bye. Those guys were honestly so, so lovely. But. I thought I'd show you my view now and my view for the past 10 minutes or so. Ratatouille has broken down, unfortunately. Um, the lovely people I just met, the viewers of mine, they said that they were hoping to go on it but they couldn't because it's closed. They've never been on it before, so hopefully, hopefully they should be able to go on it tomorrow. It's such a great ride. This Toy Jeremy is still open. There are some people still in the queue to go in there. And yeah, the rest of this area is more or less quiet now though. But it's beautiful, it's so sparkly and twinkly at this time of evening. Low key, seeing that stand there makes me want to go back and get myself another one of those duck galettes, but I can't do that, I really can't do that. So I think this will have to be the end of this vlog for me. However, before I go, speaking of my viewers and lovely subscribers, I do want to also give a shout out to Kirsten, who I met a few hours ago. Kirsten was wearing incredible Yoda mini ears and like a Yoda Christmas jumper as well. She's here with her partner for the first time, she told me. We had a lovely chat. Uh, it was 
their first day I believe so big shout out to you as well honestly it really warms my heart when I speak to you it, I love it I can't explain to you how much I love it I think especially when, you know, when I come on my own as well as a solo traveler every now and again it's just nice to speak to people you know it's lovely I love meeting you so again if you ever do see me here please do say hi it does mean a lot to me it really really does look at these awesome trees so cute anyway I should probably end this video now I had a lovely day of eating my favorite thing was the the galette at the end there are definitely other things you can get as well like you know mulled wine crepes sugar crepes so many other things that I obviously didn't have the stomach the space to try so if you do come here in the next few months let me know what you got from here if you enjoyed it any suggestions that you have for me because hopefully as I said I should be coming back in January and this should still be here I'm definitely gonna get that duck thing again but if you have any suggestions for me as well do let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one bye bye